Hello. Welcome to the free trial class. Hello, everyone. This is Angela from Beijing Language and Culture University. Thank you for coming. Uh, if you guys can hear me, you can like type something or if you want to uh, reply me, uh, you can also start your microphone too. So, good afternoon. It's afternoon here in Beijing. <laughs> about um, our free trial class will start at 4 p.m. Beijing time. Where are you from? Uh, Indonesia, okay. <laughs> we're, we're close. Hi. Oh, okay. <laughs> also from Indonesia. So we are going to talk about like time and date in Chinese. So what time is that in there in Indonesia? What time is it right now? <laughs> ah, 3 p.m. So we have one hour difference. All right, uh, it's 4 p.m. right now, so uh, we are going to start the trial class. And uh, okay, so um, yes, uh, everyone, welcome to the BLCU um, uh, meeting where we're going to be talking with Angela, one of the teachers from BLCU. She's going to be sharing a lot about the trial class, the free trial class from BLCU, and also about some of the Chinese courses that BLCU offers. So welcome, Angela, and, and can't wait to hear what you've got to say. OK, thank you. So I will start for the trial class. You guys can, can you guys see my slides? I'm sharing my slides right now. You guys see it? OK. Yes, so, we can. All right. So we will start. Uh, so today we are going to talk about time and date in Chinese. So here goes some time. Um, then my first question is, do you know how to say uh, morning in Chinese? So morning in Chinese will be Zao will be good morning. So Zao Shang is morning. So uh, like you if you meet someone in the morning, you can say Zao Shang Hao or Zao. So morning is Zao Shang. And then a late morning. So Zao Shang usually referring to early morning, like seven, eight, or nine. So if you meet someone like in a 10 or 11, that can be shang wu. So shang wu. So good morning can also say shang wu hao. And then at noon, at noon is zhong wu. Zhong wu, zhong means the middle. So zhong wu means at noon. So around 12 or 1 p.m. So zhong wu, and then how do you say afternoon? So morning is shang wu, and noon is zhong wu, and you can guess for afternoon that will be xia, or xia wu, xia wu. So good afternoon will be xia wu hao, xia wu hao. Uh, if you want to practice, you can also start your microphone and read, follow me. And also uh, on my slides, uh, there is a QR code. That's my WeChat. So uh, if you are interested in learning Chinese and if you have more questions about learning Chinese or our courses, you can uh, scan the QR code and add me on WeChat. We can talk later. 
All right, and then uh, last one, <laughs> evening or night. In Chinese, that's 晚上, 晚上. So again, one more time, morning, 早上, uh, late morning, 上午, at noon, 中午, in the afternoon, 下午, and evening, 晚上. Okay, then let's try with some sentences. So I guess you all know this word. To eat is 吃饭, to eat a meal, 吃饭. So look at the first picture. Uh, they are having their breakfast, right? So how do you say to have breakfast? So you know you can type or you can also me. Yeah, 吃早饭, so morning is 早上, so to have breakfast will be 吃早饭. And then for the second picture, she is having uh, her, her lunch. So at noon is 中午, so have lunch. Very easy. <laughs> 吃午饭. 吃午饭, yes, 吃午饭. And they are having their dinner together. So evening is 晚上. To have dinner is 吃晚饭. 吃晚饭. And then let's try with a longer sentence. So still coming from the first picture, they are having their breakfast at home. So how do you say that? So, 他们早上在家吃早饭. Pay attention to the word order in Chinese. So uh, and that, in Chinese, if you want to say a sentence, have a place and time, usually you will say like subject first. So, 他们 first, and then time, 早上, and then the place, 在家, at home, and then the action, 吃早饭. So, one more time, 他们早上在家吃早饭. And for the second picture, she is having her lunch in the company. Did you say that? In the company is 在公司. So the whole sentence should be 他, the person first, 他, and then 中午, time, place, and then the action, 吃午饭, yes, 在办公室 also correct, in the office, and here I, I write, 在公司, in the company, so, 他中午在公司吃午饭, and then for the last picture, uh, they are having their dinner in a restaurant, so how do you say that? Still, uh, the person first, so 他们, and then time, 晚上, in a restaurant is, a restaurant is 饭馆, so 他们晚上在饭馆, and then the action, 吃晚饭, again, 他们晚上在饭馆, 吃晚饭. Okay, <laughs> got it? So if you have any question, you can leave a message. Uh, so we, we can answer it right now. And then let's try with some times. So do you know how to say this? So eight. So for time, we will say 点. So eight, at eight, we will say 
p.m. 八点 ，so then ten. What do you say? Ten. So ten is 十 ，so 十 p.m. And twelve. 十二 p.m. So p.m. or time. Okay, then how do you say this? Uh, so two is R, but uh, when talking about time, more commonly we will say 两 So 两点 yes, 两点 And <laughs> this one, 下午两点 yes, that's right. So uh, two a.m. is 早上两点 and two p.m. will be we just learned. Afternoon is 下午 so two p.m. will be 下午两点 Yes, right. So let's try. Uh, so nine a.m. will be a.m. is 早上 or 上午 both okay. 上午九点 and twelve. 12 p.m. You can say 中午 because it's at noon, so you can say 中午十二点。中午十二点。Okay, and then you can say this. 11 p.m. Right, 11 p.m. So 11 is 十一 So、um, that's in the evening. 晚上。晚上十一点。Okay, got it. Then、um, let's add some、uh, minutes. So, how to say this one? A minute is ten. Ten. So. This is 八点零一分 Yeah, you need to say the zero here. So 八点零一分 Then how about this one? How about this? The、so、ten is 十点 and then. 零二分，十点零二分。Okay, and then this one. Shirdian. Yes, Shirdian. Shir fen. And for the fen at the end, you can also drop it. In oral speaking, because we all know you are talking about minutes after the hour, so、uh, this one you can also say 八点零一，十点零二，十二点十二 ，also correct in oral speaking. Okay, then let's try. This one will be two past two. Will be 两点零二 or 两点零二分 And then next one will be 两点 yes, 两点十二分 Or 两点十二 and then this one. That's in the afternoon, right? So you can say 两点二十二分 or 下午两点二十二 Okay. 
Any question about time, hour, and minutes? No? Okay. <laughs> oh, why need a zero, right? Why need here is a zero? So uh, it will be confused if we don't say the lean. So uh, we, we don't know you are talking about minutes if you don't say the lean. So, Then next, <laughs> so 30 or 8.30, do you know how to say that? Yeah, of course you can say 八点三十分, so 三十 is 30, yes. Also, that's a half of the hour, so you can say uh, like 八点三十, 十二点三十, but also you can say ban or half. Ban is half. So uh, half past eight. Uh, you can say ba dian ban. Yes. So half past twelve will be shi dian ban. And half past two. Yes, liang dian ban. So the part is ban. Okay. Then how do you ask for the time? Just now we talking about how to say the time. And how do you ask? Do you know? <laughs> to ask for a, a number you can use the word, question word, ji. So ask about time, you can just say, ji dian, ji dian. So xian zai ji dian, what's the time now? Xian zai ji dian. So you can say, qi dian. And how about this one? Xian zai ji dian. And this one, Xian Zai Ji Dian. Okay. So let's try some uh, exercises. Uh, you can type the answer, or you can start your microphone and answer me. So, is the time? Yes, right. In the morning. So, the second one, half past 10. Half past ten. Try. Shirtian Yes, Shirtian San Shifen. Also, you can use the word half, but so Shang Wu Shirtian Number three. 十二点四十五分 or you can say 中午中午十二点四十五分四十五分 number four that should be afternoon Right in the afternoon. So, xiao wu. 
两点二十二分。And last one. Ten in the evening will be. Evening is 晚上 so 晚上十点四十分。晚上十点四十分。Yes, right. Okay, so now you know how to say a time, and let's try use the time in a sentence. So a movie, movie, is 电影 So to watch a movie, how do you say? 看 so 看电影看电影 and here this is a movie ticket. Uh, how do you, how do you talk about the time? The word order, pay attention to the word order. Still, uh, subject first, woman, and then you have a time. So the time next. 下午六点零五分 ，and then the things you do: watch a movie, 看电影 ，so、uh, subject, time, action. So 我们下午六点零五分看电影。好 ，and let's try with more sentences. Uh, 小王 is a person, the name of the person. So, 小王几点吃早饭 ？And you can answer 小王 at seven. 小王七点吃早饭。Then can try with more about、uh, 小王 schedule in the day. So, 小王几点来学校？来学校 come to school. 小王几点来学校 ？What time will 小王 come to school? How do you say that? You want to have a try? <laughs> Subject first, right? 小王 ，and then time. 八点二十。分 ，then action， 来学校 ，yes， 小王八点二十，我八点二十分来学校 ，OK，and、okay. then next， 小王几点看书？看书 to read， read a book。小王几点看书？小王 ，and then time three p.m. right 下午三点看书。小王下午三点看书 ，yes right。小王 yes。好 ，and then last sentence 啊，小王。几点回家 ？What time will 小王呃、uh, return home 回家 ？Six p.m. So in the afternoon, still 下午。嗯、um, ，小王下午六点回家。小王嗯，哦，晚上六点 also OK。小王晚上六点。回家 ，so subject, time, and action. Okay, <laughs> that's all about time. Then let's come to the next part about days and date. First, uh, what month? Month is 月 in Chinese. 月 um, in English, you have different words. 
uh, for different months. But in Chinese, we just use number and yue. So for example, uh, January is yi yue. Oh, wait a moment. <laughs> One month is yi ge yue. So three months will be san ge yue. So yue is months. Also, you can say this. So January in Chinese is yi yue. So pay attention, and if you want to say one month, right, that will be 一个月, 一个月, don't forget the metal word. One month, two months, 两个月, three months, uh, 三个月, don't forget the 个, if you're talking about how many months. But you, if you just say number and 月, that, talking about months of the year. So, yi yue is January, and yi ge yue is one month. So, and then February will be er yue. So, March is very easy, just san yue. And April is si yue. And then, so on, wu yue, liu yue. 七月, Very easy, right? You just need to remember the number and then add 月. And then about date. Date in Chinese is how, in, in our speaking, is how. So, how do you say about those dates? Well, this is May, so Wu Yue. So Wu Yue Ba Hao. So the 8th of May, Wu Yue Ba Hao. So in Chinese, we will say the month uh, first and then the date. So you, usually in Chinese, when we're talking about time, we will say larger unit first and then smaller. And like just now, we are talking about uh, like 2 p.m. We will say larger like uh, 下午 first, like in the afternoon, and then uh, about the exact time. So 两点. So 下午 larger, and then 两点 smaller. The same thing. Uh, for the dates. So uh, months is larger, so we'll say months first. And then dates is smaller than And if you have like a year, the year should put uh, in the very beginning. So then um, the year and months and date, that's how we say in Chinese, the word order. And then how about this one? And then this one, I'll have a try. <laughs> Still, right? Okay. Then next, um, let's learn some words about dates too. So today is 今天, 今天, and tomorrow is 明天, yesterday is 昨天, so 今天, 明天, 昨天, so <laughs> 今天, 几, What's the date today? You can say, 今天, it's March, right? 三月十三号, right? Then, 
How about tomorrow? 明天呢？明天 also March 三月十四号。Yes, right. 明天三月十四号。How about yesterday? 昨天，昨天三月十二。好 ，OK. So, <laughs> 今天 today, 明天 tomorrow, 昨天 yesterday. Okay. The next about this is a week, right?、Uh, week in Chinese is 星期星期 so one week. 一个星期 ，Don't forget the 个 ，so 一个星期 ，and then two weeks will be 两个星期 ，three weeks， 三个星期。Okay, so that's the weeks. So 星期 ，and then when when we talk about weekdays, like days of the week. Also very easy. <laughs> We just use 星期 a week and plus a number. So Monday will be 星期一 Tuesday 星期二 Wednesday 星期三 Thursday 星期四 Friday 星期五 And Saturday is 星期六 but there is an exception、uh, for Sunday. <laughs> Sunday is not 星期七 Sunday can say 星期日 or 星期天、uh, 日 originally means the sun, so Sunday is 星期日 or you can say 星期天 both correct. So you just need to remember 星期 is the week. And then plus a number、uh, from one to six, and Sunday will be 星期日星期天 Got it? 好 so then my question will be: 今天星期几今天星期几 So 几 ah、uh, to ask for. A number. So, 星期几 which day of the week is today? So, 今天星期几今天星期几今天星期日 Yes, 今天星期日 And then, how about yesterday? 昨天星期几昨天星期几 ？Saturday is 星期六。Yes， 星期六。好。Then how about tomorrow？ 明天，明天星期几？明天星期几？明天 ，Yes，Monday is。星期一，明天星期一。Great. Okay. <laughs> Then let's try a longer one. Uh, with months, uh, days, and day of the week. So, uh, in Chinese, we will say uh, month first, date, and then uh, day of the week. So, year. And how and 星期 so how do you say、uh, May the eighth Tuesday? So May is the fifth of the year. So 五月 and then the eighth is 八号 yes and Tuesday. The second, 星期二 Oh, oops! <laughs> the other answers coming out. So,、uh, 
December the 20, 23, uh, Thursday. So December is the 12th uh, month. So 十二月, and then 二十三号, 星期四, I'm sorry, the, <laughs> it's wrong here. Should be 十二月, 十二月. I write it here. And then August is Ba and the twenty seventh Arshi Hao and Sunday is Xin Chi Tian. So uh you may when you are writing uh, in Chinese, you can write uh, the Chinese words for the numbers. Also, you can write this like this. Also, okay. How? So, any questions about the dates and uh, weekday? All right, then uh, if not, we will continue. Uh, to say the dates uh, like in a sentence. So how do you say I will go to Shanghai on Wednesday? I will go to Shanghai on Wednesday. So do you remember the word order? So subject first, so wo. And then time, Wednesday is Xin Qi San, and go to Shanghai is Chu Shanghai. So, Wo Xin Qi San, Chu Shanghai, I will go to Shanghai on Wednesday. And then I will be back, I will return on Saturday. Saturday is Xin Qi. Leo, so return way, so time before the action. So, I'll go to Shanghai on Wednesday and return on Saturday. All right, and next one. Uh, to go for a business trip, go for a business trip is Chu Chai. Chu Chai. So, how do you say, I will go for a business trip on Wednesday? You can try. We'll go for a business trip on Wednesday. I, me or I is Wa. So, Wa, Xin Qi San. Chu Chai. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, in the last, let, let's uh, do some practice. So we've learned all of the things about time and days and day of the week. So try answer me with those questions. First one, Ming Tian Ji Yue Ji Hao. Ming Tian Ji Yue Ji Hao. I'll give you a few seconds and can type your answer or start your microphone on answer me. Ming Tian Ji Yue Ji Hao. What's the months and days tomorrow? Ming Tian San Yue Shi Si Hao. Yes, right. Question number two. 你星期几工作? 星期几不工作? 你星期几工作? Which day of the week do you work? And which day of the week you don't work? 你星期几工作? 星期几不工作?
<laughs> Try tap your answer. 你星期几工作？所、so、以 you work from Monday to Friday, right? How do you say Monday? 星期一 and Friday 星期五 and Monday to Friday to in Chinese is 大大 So 我星期一到星期五工作 I、work from Monday to Friday, and then 星期几不工作 Which day of the week you don't work? I 星期一到星期五工作 ，Yes, right, Maria. <laughs> And 你星期几不工作 ？Which day of the week you don't work? Saturday and Sunday, right? Saturday is 星期六 ，And Sunday 星期日 ，And you need an end. And in Chinese is 和和 and so 我星期星期六和星期日不工作。我星期六和星期日不工作。好 ，OK <laughs>。And then,、uh, question number three: 你星期一工作忙吗？你星期一工作忙吗？忙 ，busy.、Uh, are you busy at work on Monday, or will you busy at work on Monday? 你星期一工作忙吗？ For me. I would say, oh, <laughs> 不忙 Oh, that's good. I will be very busy. Usually, I will be very busy on Monday. So I could say, 我星期一工作很忙 So very busy, 很忙 And if you are not busy, you can just say, 我星期一工作不忙 Not busy. 好 And then the last question. 你星期一几点上班？上班 start working. 你星期一几点上班 ？What time do you start working at on Monday? 你星期一几点上班？ For、well, me, I start working at. Eight thirty. 我星期一早上啊、uh, <laughs> ，Maria, you want to say uh nine in the morning, right? So that's 九点 Okay, not 九 How how is the date? So 九点 Okay. So for me, I can say uh, 我星期一早上。八点半上班。我星期一早上八点半上班。Okay, that's all for today.、Uh, that's all for、uh, practicing time and dates in Chinese.、Um, if you have any other questions, you can also scan the QR code and add me on WeChat. We can talk about more about learning Chinese, and then next,、uh, if you are interested in learning Chinese, I will going to introduce a little bit about our online Chinese courses of ELCU. So、uh, we are the、um, online education college. We're from online education college of ELCU, 
So we offering uh, online Chinese and Chinese culture courses, uh, no matter there is the COVID or not. And also we work together with uh, China Animation. So if you are interested in joining our uh, courses and learn Chinese systematically with BLCU teachers, you can apply um, from uh, China Animation's website. Um, and let me introduce a little bit about our Chinese courses. So basically, we, uh, we have two types of uh, online Chinese courses for general, like improve your Chinese in generally. So uh, the first one is a group class. Uh, this is a picture of how the class is going. So just like what we do just now, but uh, we will learn together in small groups, usually uh, three to less than 10 students in a group. And uh, this course is designed for students from beginners level, like zero beginning to about HSK5. And all of the classes will be live online and uh, each level will be 12 weeks. And the tuition fee is 1,350 RMB. And then in, during the 12 weeks, uh, you will have uh, one live class per week, not like what we are doing right now, but in class you will have more interaction because there are less students. And every week before class, the teacher will give you uh, learning materials uh, so you can prepare it before class. And then you take the live lesson to study with the teacher and practice with other students in your group. And also after class, you will have some homework to do so you do the homework and prepare for the next week's lesson. That, that's for 12 weeks. Uh, and before, uh, in the last lesson of the 12 weeks, at the end of the course, you will have a final test. If you pass the test, you can continue for the next level. Also, you can apply for a certificate from BLCU uh, for each level you take. So, Those are the levels that we have. We have 10 levels uh, for the general grade Chinese classes. Uh, so uh, one level is 12 weeks again. So you can start from beginner's level uh, to about HSP 5. So for example, if you finish our level three, that means you are about uh, HSP 2 level. And if you finish our level five, that means you are about HSP 3 and so on. So as the level goes up for uh, HSP5, you will need uh, three of uh, the 12 weeks course to finish uh, HSK5. Yeah, uh, that's for our group class, 12 weeks group class. You can apply, of course, you can apply this course from uh, China Mission's uh, website. Also, you can add me on WeChat if you've got other questions about the course. And then uh, some student may ask uh, if I already uh, had uh, HSK5, I want to study for HSK6 or like higher level. Um, so you can take one-on-one -on -one class or if you have a special purpose of learning Chinese. For example, uh, I need to practice more on oral speaking. I want to learn more about writing Chinese characters or like I want to learn how to like read Chinese newspapers, then you can choose the one-on-one -on -one Chinese class that will be more uh, like flexible for the students. Oh, okay. So how long for each meeting, each class? Uh, one class is 15 minutes to an hour. 15 minutes to one hour per class. Uh, group class and one-on-one, -on -one, both okay, both the same. So 15 minutes to one hour per, per class. And uh, uh, for one-on-one -on -one class, you can like more flexible, like the teacher can prepare the class according to your need. Uh, like if you want to practice more speaking, the teacher can help you do that. If you want to practice, on writing, the teacher can give you more homeworks about characters. So it depends on you. 
and the price will be higher than the group class. So 150 RMB per class. Uh, the USD price is, I'm not sure if this is the order like uh, price. Right now the, because the exchange rate is different. So we can check also from uh, China Animation of um, their website, they have the USD price for it too. So different plans of one-on-one -on -one class, we have packages from 30 classes to 150 classes, and here goes the price. So if you purchase more than 60 classes uh, in one time, you will have some discounts. Yes, that's right. Uh, one class, uh, for the group class, let me go back. For the group class, yes, 12 weeks um, per level and one class per week. And for the one-on-one uh, -on -one class, as I said, it's much more flexible. You can choose more classes during a week. So if you want to choose two or three classes in a week, um, that's okay, it depends on you. And about schedule, um, for one-on-one, uh, -on -one, that is more flexible. Uh, all in all, we have teachers working from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Beijing time. Uh, seven days a week. So any time between that will be okay for us. Um, so different teacher working at different times. And for the group class, um, we want to know the schedule. Um, the group class can start as soon as there are three students in a group. We will start a new group as soon as there are three students. And the class time of each group will depend on where are the students from of that group. For example, if you are from Indonesia, um, maybe you want to have your class uh, after work, like in the evening, uh, we can do that. And for example, if some students are from Europe, and then we can do it like in your morning or uh, afternoon time but evening in Europe time will be too late for us. So yeah, depends on where are the students from. And you also need to negotiate a little bit uh, in the group. Maybe there are students coming from different places. So we need to find out a time that is available for all of the students in that group. Then we can fix the class time at that time each week for the 12 weeks. So for uh, the schedule, each group is different, depends on where are you from, where the students of the group is coming from. Yep, that's the uh, two Chinese courses that we have right now, one-on-one and 12 weeks group class. Uh, is there any other questions about the course? And again, the price one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, is, this is the group class, 12 weeks group class is 1,350 RMB. I believe it's 225 US dollar, is that right? Uh, you can double check from like China Nation's uh, website too. And for one-on-one -on -one class, you can start from 30 classes package to 150 classes package. I think the smaller package is about 700 something in US dollars. Yeah. Okay, so uh, do you have any other questions about the course? Uh, if not, then that's pretty much all for today. And uh, this is our website, blcu.com. And also we have our Facebook page and YouTube. And this is my email. Uh, if you got further question, you can email me. And this is the QR code of my WeChat. If you have WeChat, you can add me. Also, you can uh, find our courses from uh, Chain Animations uh, website. Yep. And thank you very much for coming today. And, uh, Wish you a good afternoon, good morning, <laughs> have a good day.
And bye for now. Bye. Thank you, Angela. Thanks. Thank yeah. you so much. Bye. 再见. In Chinese. 再见. 再见.